as Iran switches off 27 surveillance cameras. IAEA chief Rafael Mariano Grossi said a window of three to four weeks remains to restore monitoring. Otherwise, the watchdog would be unable to maintain, quote, continuity of knowledge on Iran's nuclear activities. This, he said, would be a fatal blow to the 2015 nuclear deal, with negotiations currently stalled since April. Now we are adding this uh, to, the, to the picture. So, as you can see, it's not a very nice one. Uh, you know, my uh, obligation is to persevere, to continue to continue proposing solutions and to continue to propose that we work together with Iran. But quite clearly, um, it's not one of those good, day good days. Since the deal collapsed following the US's withdrawal in 2018, Iran has been running advanced centrifuges and has a growing stockpile of enriched uranium. On the streets of Tehran, some residents called for cooperation. It is better for Iran to agree in order to prevent more wars and to avoid more sanctions, which are putting a lot of pressure on the people through a high cost of living. The decision comes as the IAEA's board censured Iran, citing failure to provide credible information over man-made nuclear material found at three undeclared sites in the country. While Western powers warn it's getting ever closer to weapon-making capacity, Iran denies having such intentions.